उसको कनेक्ट किया आपने Good evening everyone am i audible Anil am i audible Yes ma'am Yes ma'am Yes ma'am Yes ma'am Is this sound clear or you want me to please No ma'am it's crystal clear Okay right Fine पहले कॉफी लेने के लिए थोड़ा हॉट कॉफी चलेगा या चाय आएगी तुझे भी सब चार पंद्रह बीस में आ जाएगी हिमानी कीप वन बैकअप ऑन योर फोन और समवेर ओपन सो डेट इन केस योर सिस्टम हैज एन इश्यू यू कैन लोड इन योर फोन और समथिंग राइट मैम मैम वी हैव थ्री सिस्टम्स हियर इसको राइट इस रूम उसका साउंड चल Anil, I hope with three systems, if Himani speaks from there, the voice does not echo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Echo, we can. This is echo. Why? This is my room. I mute the light. Because the three systems will be together. Log in. Maybe Himani's voice will echo. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. 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 हिमानी तेरे पीछे बेटा बहुत ज्यादा लाइट आ रही है यू आर सीन हेजी यस मैम हाँ ना उठ बेटा यस मैम ना उठ बेटा ठीक है स्क्रिप्ट अपने सामने रख लेना राइट मैम ठीक है
गुरु प्रचोदयाद ओम गुरुदेव Mani, is my image and uh, the video clear? The uh, sound? Ma'am, your image is not visible yet. Was uh, Anil sir is presenting the screen so that screen is visible? Hmm. Uh, I'll have to pin you up. Are photo are I, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Your photo is clear. Okay, fine. Thank you.
गुरुदेवाय विद्महे परब्रह्माय धीमहे तन्नो गुरु प्रचोदयात् ओम 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 गुरुदेवाय विद्महे परब्रह्माय धीमहे 
गुरु प्रचोदयात ओम गुरुदेवाय विद्महे परब्रह्माय धीमहे तन्नो 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 गुरु प्रचोदयात गुरुदेवाय विद्महे परब्रह्माय धीमहे तन्नो गुरु प्रचोदयात ओम गुरुदेवाय विद्महे परब्रह्माय धीमहे तन्नो गुरु प्रचोदयात ओम विद्या परब्रह्माय धीमहे गुरु प्रचोदयाय गुरु प्रचोदया 
My God. with health and, and prosperity. Shumbh Karoti Kalyanam Arogyam Dhan Sampada Shatru Buddhi Vinashaya Deepi Jyotir Namastute Aise Devta Ham Rog Mukt Rakta Hai Dhan Sampada Deta Hai Jo Vipreet Buddhi Ka Nash Karke हमें सदमार्ग दिखाते हैं। ऐसी दिव्य ज्योति को हमारा परम नमः। Before starting, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. May this new year bring back all the fun and kids back to school that we and everybody here on this platform had missed from the last March of month of April or March. Good evening, everyone. 
I extend a warm welcome to all the, to all the participating schools, guests on the launching year of Professor Dr. L. S. Strator Memorial Trophy on this platform. Today, that is 5th January. The Shanti Niketan is celebrating, is paying tribute to Dr. Professor Dr. L. S. Strator in a form of essay writing competition. Whose last date was 23rd December. And it is really surprising that we have lots of entries with so perfect and door drop essays. I'll just take a moment to introduce Hakki Pandemic. This is kept the site and came out with innovative ideas of organizing various events and competitions. To keep the students and the and the teachers linked up in the in during the stay and night to make the to online learning a meaningful and fruitful one. Although it was a tough time, but for TS nights, it was a period of fun, recreation, and a time to grasp things from different paradigms. TSN family never came off track to help the society, while we made our students achieve the national level laurels in sports like swimming, just one to name, but the list is unending. We also distributed masks to help protect the people who were less privileged during this COVID-19. Crowned with the British Council Award, TSA has taken the stupendous challenge of Nurse Frank George Tyler, guiding them to be positive, passionate, focused and confident. Hence, by the time they step into adulthood, they are more than equipped to face the real world and take on the reins of the Indian citizenship with a global outlook. But yes, their families to respect their elders. Shri Kevil Chanji Modi, our founder, our inspiration, a legendary figure in the history of freedom struggle was a humble industrialist. He served the prestigious Bal Niketan for 20 years as a president. For more than 40 years, he served Sri Mahesh Sikshan Sansthan as the vice president. Isn't it great? I want to welcome Honorable Chairman of the Shanti Niketan, Sri Kailash Modi, sir, who is not just a prominent industrialist, but also has a heart of gold. Because his contribution to the society is not everybody's cup of tea. Director, Sri Dr. Shobha Modi, ma'am, who is a wise lady and also manages the campus very smartly. She is also the secretary of the Rotary Padmini Jodhpur. Principal Mrs. Yogeshwari Rathor, ma'am, also a lady who is a pillar of strength. She is a proud daughter of the legendary figure about whom we will know a little later in this ceremony. And on behalf of the whole school management, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome our invited guests, parents, teachers, and students from all the participating schools and how phenomenal this day is. Isn't it a great starting to the year? Isn't it or not? Isn't it or not? It is. Why? Because it's an honor itself 
to honor the charming audience here and all the reputed schools present here i himani rajavat once again welcome you all on behalf of the whole family of the shanti niketan in today's felicitation ceremony we have been totally blown away by the high standard of entries we got this year the entries were limited but yet it very nice would i would also like you to share i would like to share with you sorry i would like to share with you the that we almost had 15 to 16 schools who tried their luck to take this take home this beautiful trophy but lucky are we that we have got some data gurus on board to help the help us with the difficult task of picking up the winners it was really a difficult time for our judges to jump on a conclusion and give us top 3 most deserving winners because each piece of essay written was near to perfection highly advanced and innovative making it honorous for our experts to judge let me take no time and bring you in contact with our expert girl share to share their experience with, with us while, while working for on this trophy here in front of you we have ma'am ma jyoti kaju as our first expert and judge with over 40 years of experience as an educator facilitator author copy editor and many more Ma'am has served as PGT for the subject English and history. She is an expressive TEDx speaker. Jyoti Ma'am is presently associated with NIFT Jodhpur as adjunct faculty for English and history. Now, here we have a second judge, Ma'am Reshma Lakhotia. who resides in london and whose 10 years of experience while working with children preparing them for competitive school exams is remarkable she is a competent teacher as per the indian british and american system of education let me introduce you to a third judge ma'am dr amrita chaudhary who has been associated with academics research and public speaking for past 20 years she has worked as associate professor in subject history at banasthali vidyapeeth for 9 years from the year 2014 she has been working as pgt and also is a cbse trainer for the subject history without any delay I want to bring some light on our dignitaries and the special guest which although don't require much introduction but I feel privileged in speaking a few lines about them they are not present here at the moment due to some reason but they have sent along their wishes imbibed in message His Highness Maharaja Gad Singh Ji of Jodhpur who all who does not know if he is crowned as maharaja since 26 january 1952 he is an indian politician who served as a member of the indian parliament and high commissioner of india i can just introduce him as the best protector of the sin city sir ls rathore was born and has published many books for bikaner therefore this event is incomplete without the blessings and wishes from his hailing native place and that's the reason we have reverend paisa rajshree kumari of bikaner who is a former competition shooter from india the arjuna awardee 
sorry the arjuna award in shooting was conferred on her in 1968 when she was just 16 years of old she currently is the chairperson of the maharaja ganga singh ji trust and resides at the lalgarh palace bikaner coming on to our honorable special guest of the evening mrs kiran bahadur who is associate who is seasoned leader of with diverse skill set and a continuous record of achievement she has vast and extensive experience of over 30 years in the field of education her contribution towards building educational capabilities of the students has been widely recognized and appreciated which has resulted in many awards for her to name a few recently she has been crowned with the ipn most india's most impactful leaders award in 2020 for her outstanding long service in the field of education she is a part of school inspection committee for past 12 years she is a inspiration for all i welcome all the dignit all the special guests of here and the judges here on this platform straight away taking no time Let me call upon Dr. Abhimanyu Singh Arha, who is a historian, academician, poet, journalist, and author. He is currently serving as assistant professor in the Department of History and Indian Culture in the University of Rajasthan, which is at Jaipur. I request, sir. to help us know about the great educationist and the legendary figure in the field of education that is dr professor l s rathor sir over to you sir thank you very much uh, himani respected modi sir modi ma'am yogeshwari parents students and the august gathering it's a great honor personally that i have been invited to this glorious event and have being given this opportunity to introduce the legendary professor dr ls rathor sahab to the audience professor ls rathor sahab was not just a literary luminary and academician and an educationist par excellence but he was also a living light an illuminating light which guided the entire marwar and rajasthan and brought international fame and acclaim to our state and to the cities of jodhpur and bikaner Professor Dr S Rathore Sahab was born in the village of Roda in Bikaner and thus he belonged to the erstwhile state of Bikaner he had a glorious academic tenure Professor Rathore was educated at Bikaner Jaipur Sagar and The Hague he holds MA LLB PhD DLit and DPA degrees which is just giving us a small insight into his bright and fertile mind Professor Rathore was emeritus professor in political science and former vice chancellor of Jain Narayan Vyas University Jodhpur. He was also the recipient of the Netherlands University's Foundation Fellowship in 1959, the prestigious UGC Senior Research Fellowship in 1963 to 65, and also the recipient of the Senior Fulbright Fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania USA in 1971. audience let me clarify here that fulbright scholarship is one of the most difficult and prestigious scholarships considered to be in the world professor rathore was also the recipient of marana kumbha award in literature in 1989 and the swami pranavananda award in political science conferred by the ugc or the university grants commission professor ls rathore had been the president of the Indian Political Science Association in 1989 he was the president of the Indian Public Administration Association in 1995 he was elected member of the executive committee of the International Political Science Association from 1982 to 85 he also happened to be the panel chairman at World Congress of International Political Science Association held at Moscow in 1979 Rio de Janeiro in 1982 
Paris in 1985, Washington in 1988, and Berlin in 1994. Professor Rato Saab was also a participant in the Roundtable Conference, in political science conference held at the Commonwealth University's Vice Chancellor's Collegium. At the same time, he also attended the political science conferences held held at Tokyo, Urbana, Berlin, Florence, Zagreb, Helsinki, and Seoul, and the other universities' association conferences held in Washington. This is just a small snippet into the glorious international career carved out by Professor Ellis Rathor Saab. At the same time, Professor Rathor had delivered lectures at Vikram University Ujjain, the University of Madras, Chennai, he also visited the University of Yugoslavia in 1984 under the Indo-Yugoslav Exchange Program and the U.S. universities in 1982 under American Visitors Program. He has also delivered guest lectures at University of Natal, South Africa in 2002. Professor Ellis Rathor Saab was a prolific writer, thinker, social scientist and an author. He has authored several books, prominent among them are in Defense of Political Theory, Perspectives on Political Thought, The Intellectual Styles in Political Theory, Political Theory and Organization. He has also written Maharaja Sadhul Singh Ji's biography, which is titled Maharaja Sadhul Singh of Bikaner, a biography of the co-architect of India's unity. Besides all these highly important academic works, Professor Rathor has also penned down prolific poetry. His important Poetry works are the poems on the Thar, Veer Durgadas Rathor, The Glory of Ranthambore, The Johar of Padmini, Maharana Hamir of Chittor, and his most prolific and famous poetry book called Kodam, The Lingering Echoes in the Castle of Pugal. Though Professor Rathor Sahab's introductory notes run into several pages, but due to the constraints of time and space, I would end here and to before summing up, I would just with folded hands pay my homage and respect to the great figure who will still guide many, many more generations to come. Thank you. Glad to know some very nice and unknown facts about such a great personality. This really inspires us, which makes him a perfect role model for all. Thank you, sir. But still, before you before you leave, I request you, Abhimanyu, sir, to please read out the wishes and message and closed in form of a letter from the Vaisa of Bikadir. Thank you again. So now I shall read out to the audience the message written and sent by Rajeshi Kumari Vaisa of Bikadir, and. I quote, I am delighted to note that you are organizing an online essay competition titled Professor L.S. Rathor Memorial Trophy for students at senior secondary stages on the theme, The Boons and Banes of E-Education, which envisions the emergence of a robust and strong digital technology development aiding to the welfare of all. Professor L.S. Rathor was a literary luminary, academician, educationist, and social scientist hailing from Bikaner. Through his outstanding contribution in the field of research and higher education, he brought international fame and national recognition to Rajasthan. Myself and our entire organization is grateful to Professor L.S. Rathor for his advice, guidance, and assistance provided to us over the period. He was a mine of information, especially in respect of both national and international history. His contribution as a writer and historian is enormous. He authored several books to include the biography of my great grandfather, Maharaja Ganga Singh Ji, as well as my grandfather, Maharaja Shri Sadhul Singh Ji of Bikaner. I had the privilege of interacting with him on numerous occasions with regards to my publications. He was a mentor to me in the field of writing books, which without his help would not have been possible. 
He had answers and solutions to each and every question and queries put across to him. He was an old-fashioned history professor with impeccable mannerisms and was a renowned scholar of international repute. To summarize, Professor Rator was and will remain an idol icon for new generation of inspiring historians, scholars, and literary figures. My good wishes to you and your team for success of the event, Rajeshri Kumari. End quotes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And although she is not present here physically, but this letter will make us feel her presence throughout the end of the ceremony. Thank you, sir, for, again for enlightening us with such a power-packed message. Moving ahead, I request Jyoti Gadzu, ma'am, to speak something about her experience while judging these entries that we had. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good, Good evening, evening all the learners here. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. My Good name is Jyoti Kar. And for you who don't know me, I'm a lifelong student of history evening, and the English language who just happens to be a judge yeah. at today. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Good evening, Dr. Singara. Good evening, Mrs. Kiran Bahadur. And good evening, Ms. Chaudhary, Ms. Potia, and Ms. Yogesh Rathor. Last but not the least, good evening all of you brilliant children and all your assiduous and tenacious facilitators. It is difficult to put in words how proud, privileged, and honored I feel to be sharing the platform with Dr. Abhimanyu Singh Ara, who is a member of the teaching faculty at my alma mater, the Department of History and Indian Culture, University of Rajasthan. Dr. Ara, you will please understand what it feels to share space with somebody who is teaching where you studied. I did my master's in history and Indian culture under the tutelage and instructorship of the revered Dr. G.C. Pandey, sir, and Professor Dr. M.S. Jain, sir, from the Department of History and Indian Culture in 1976. I completed my MPhil under the guidance of supervisorship and professorship of Dr. V.K. Vashish, sir, from, from your department in 1978. Eight. Mrs. Bahadur, uh, Principal Colonel's Academy, a national awardee, your achievements not only speak of your professional acumen, but also about your dedication towards the pursuit of excellence. Pleasure sharing space with you. Ms. Yogeshwari Rathor, Principal of the Shanti Niketan School, you deserve a special round of applause for having organized this essay writing competition and believe me, it was tough judging it, but you will understand the advantages of writing an essay are many folds. To write means to put thoughts on paper. It makes all of us writers, even if we do not professionally do this. The process of writing of the essay structures our thinking. Writing an essay improves our skill with the word, syllable and style that is so necessary for everyday life. Writing for an audience even when it consists of just one person, helps us to think from their point of view. The skill of writing a convincing essay teaches us to influence other people's thinking. Writing an essay every day makes us look for new ideas. We don't plan to write about the same thing always, do we? If you post your essays on the internet, then quickly you will have an audience interested in what you want to share with them. And whatever you write in your essay, you progressively improve your style. At some point, you will suddenly find intonation. And when you write, you are at the intersection of two spheres, private and written speech. The ability to write an essay is the method of maintenance, reflection, and self-expression of creative properties in tone. And all the participants have displayed this in plenty. In the end, I want to offer multiple thanks to the lady studied. Ms. Luta made us write an essay a day. Every single day we went to school, we wrote an essay. 
you can therefore understand the importance of essay writing thank you so much for this opportunity ms yogeshwari thank you ma'am for your kind words they were really knowledgeable we are grateful for the time and effort you took to judge and as you shared your experiences since we are just a few moments away from having our winners today but i believe they can immediately get a benefited from the methods you suggested and why it is important to write an essay not a day but at least we all can practice writing a essay once a week maybe on weekends thank you again ma'am for your contribution now here i request amrita chaudhary ma'am to let us know how she spent her days judging the essays written by the young budding history makers amrita ma'am over to you good evening everyone good evening esteemed guest and it is serendipity and it is a pleasure to know that jyoti ma'am is a guru behen because even i have completed my phd under vashesh sir so long live vk vashesh sir and thanks to abhimanyu that he introduced me uh, to yogeshwari ma'am i want to congratulate the entire team of the shanti niketan school and yogeshwari ma'am for organizing this event and i'm immensely indebted actually to the entire school family for inviting me to this stupendous event uh, as we all know that this is in memory of late professor lakshman singh ji rathor and i am amongst a uh, very few fortunate ones who had the privilege to actually see him in person and hear him speak he was invited for a valedictory valediction address at vanastari uh, university in a national conference and believe me his aura his personality was so so influential he had this charismatic air around him and we all were mesmerized we were kind of in awe of his persona we really need more scholars like professor rathor and this particular event was an opportunity provided by the shanti niketan family to the students that they could also explore the horizons of their mind and they have actually made us very very proud this was a very difficult task for all of us believe me children all of you were brilliant we i actually never expected that 56 essays would be so engrossing i read almost each and every essay with the same amount of patience and uh, passion because uh, you made me do that particular activity so hats off to all of you you are all winners but since it is a competition so that is why we had to decide maybe for the first two positions but all of you are winners so all the best to all of you may god bless you with the courage and creativity thank you so much thank you ma'am surely we could not have come so far without your support and we sincerely thank you for guiding us in this regard uh, it's that time of the hour where we would like to play a, a video message of his highness maharaj jagat singh ji who due to some unavoidable reasons is not present here but has sent his best wishes to all the aspiring students for their bright future i would request my it department to please play the video online essay competition in memory of the late professor Alex Rathor, former Vice Chancellor of the Jodhpur University, the theme of which is bone and veins of education. Looking into the current scenario of COVID all over the world, schools are closed uh, in proportions for our children and protect them. However, children cannot remain idle at home all the time, and there is activity. is a been organized online essay online essay competition in memory of the late professor ls rathor former vice chancellor of the jodhpur university the theme of which is bone and veins of education looking into the current scenario of covid all over the world schools are closed uh, in proportions for our children and to protect them however 
Children cannot remain idle at home all the time and various activities are being organized online, including education. I compliment the school health education for organizing this uh, competition and I look forward to the participants coming forward. The last date of receiving entry is 23rd of December and the results will be declared on 5th January. Health education school looks at developing all round character of the child and the personality, hence organizes various fun filled activities and excursions so that the child gets greater experience and every child has something to do. I wish on the Niketan school success in all its future endeavors. Online essay. Our students and everyone here on this platform is fortunate enough to be blessed by Maharaj Agar Singh Ji's message. This is now, uh, with this now moving ahead, I would like Reshma Lakhotia, ma'am, to please address the students about her experience of judging the entries. Hello, good afternoon. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share the platform with such esteemed judges and guest speakers. Um, I'm truly privileged. You all are very, very acclaimed in your own fields. And last, not the least, the students who have worked so hard to prepare these essays, your diligence and your dedication is absolutely outstanding and it shows in your work. Chandi Niketan School holds a very personal note for me uh, since uh, the founder of the school is my grandfather and the chairman, Mr. Sri Kailash Modiji, is my uncle. And uh, I have seen the school grow over the years and it, is, it makes me immensely proud and happy to see where it is standing today. This essay competition is a process and it's not just a destination. It's not just about who's won. And I, for one, definitely enjoyed this process. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Once again, I thank you for including me on this esteemed platform and giving me the opportunity to judge this competition and not last once again and not the least to the staff of TSN who even in these adverse conditions made this possible. Good luck children and may the best essay win. Thank you so much ma'am uh, and thank you for each word that you said is com a complete inspiration. Put your hands together as I welcome our special guest Mrs. Kiran Bahadur ma'am to kindly address the gathering. Thank you, Himani. And at the outset, I would like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Modi, your both Twari, and the students of Shanti Niketan Jodhpur. I really feel privileged to be here today. And thank you, uh, Jyoti Khatwaj, for speaking such kind words for me. Thank you so much. I feel really privileged to be part of this event today, the wonderful event that the school has organized in the memory of such a great educationist about whom I learned today. Unfortunately, I did not get the opportunity to meet him. But whatever uh, Abhamanyu Singh spoke about him, I think I really feel that I missed out on meeting such great personality. So when we talk about uh, e-learning, which was the topic for the essay competition. So if you had asked last year about to the children, you know, what do you talk, think about e-learning? What do you think would have been the response you know oh it's not possible you know i don't think you know e-learning they it will have challenges but look what happened 
in the last year the way the things changed and e learning became the buzzword in the last of couple of months that we've been seeing and i'm reminded of a quote by christopher peppers says when it comes to e learning content means everything if e learning content is not masterfully designed all the rest will just go down the drain so if you if you read these words if you see carefully it says masterfully designed so here the role of the designer all the rest will be a waste so who's the designer here it's a very significant role that the designer plays in e learning so the designer is the teacher so we cannot say that virtual learning e learning will replace the teacher it cannot happen like that so here the designer the teacher is the main important role player so we cannot when we discuss bains and boons boon, boon, boon and bains of technology e learning you know it's a two sides of the coin it is a boon and it has proved to be a boon in last one year where the all the schools across the globe rose to the occasion and took up this challenge of teaching the children through e learning and these were the difficult times we had ever seen in the human history and it is a boon when we see that it explains the concepts better with videos 3d images audio visuals and when the children learn you know at their own pace it's accessible anywhere anytime children get global exposure they are not limited to local teachers it saves them time effort and it takes them beyond the four walls of the classroom but then we see the bains actually we all have to realize that the bains we talk about are the challenges the challenges because e learning is still very new to us so that's why we are calling them the bains they are the challenges actually it makes the children mere information gatherer i think that's what everybody talks about they are they're just getting the information they sitting in front of the computers screens spoils their health it makes it's harmful for their physical conditioning and it it also affects the holistic development of the children it doesn't cater to their emotional moral and social skills there is no human touch but then these are the challenges we need to work on like i said earlier the teacher the facilitator has to play a very important role in all this it is it depends it becomes a bane or a boon how we use it how we adapt to it and we need to keep pace with the need of the time we should not forget that and in an everlasting process we must learn to face these challenges so keeping all this in mind i would say i'm sure uh, the judges had a difficult time i'm sure the children would have done a lot of research on it and i'm sure they must have written according to the experiences they would have had in the last one year on e learning and the judges would be better to tell us what the children felt how the children feel about it about e learning but since i have been asked to 
speak on e-learning booms and bains so keeping everything in mind keeping the scenario in mind you know how the things were and how the e-learning really helped in the, these times in difficult times i would say that the bains are just challenges and we i would like to say that over a period of time you know the benefits will be more and i would conclude that you know it's going to be there e learning is going to be there and it is going to be a combination of both the technology based teaching by the creative and resourceful teachers is what will be the best approach to education and like jennifer fleming said teaching in the internet age means we must teach tomorrow's skills it's a very impactful quote that she spoke about so unquote once again i would like to thank yogeshwari for giving me this honor to be part of this event that i know it very close to you and your family's heart yogeshwari and i really feel honored to be part of this and thank you so much my best wishes to the shanti niketan school and the management and may you all have very happy safe and peaceful year ahead thank you and my blessings to all of you god bless thank you ma'am and as rightly said by kiran ma'am in her profile uh, which also make us believe that as long as you support students there is really nothing that they cannot do creativity is an inherent quality of each and every child that must be revitalized thank you ma'am again declaration of winners is just a moment away but before we celebrate the victory here we have colonel amarjeet singh rathor sir who is very close to dr professor l s rathor sir who wants to convey his thanks on behalf of the family a very good evening to all the esteemed guests on behalf of the family i would like to thank the patrons the special guest the experts and the jury for having uh, taken out your valuable time and having graced uh, this event i also thank the participants and especially the schools for displaying an excellent spirit of uh, competition and uh, kindling the flame of creativity and literature which was very very close to the heart of dr rathore my special thanks to the uh, management and the faculty of the shantiniketan uh, school jodhpur for organizing this event which i am sanguine would go a long way in uh, motivating the younger generation towards the field of literature and creativity once again wishing all of you a very happy uh, new year and thank you for organizing this event uh, mr modi sir and thank you all uh, and thanks to all the uh, fteam guests for having taken out of your uh, valuable time thank you and jai thank you sir for your kind words it really means a lot for us and you have brought the smoke close to rathor sir we really feel that we are strongly attached to him now dear students hold your breath as i welcome honorable principal mrs yogeshwari rathor ma'am to address the evening and declare the winners good evening everybody i think himani has made it more alarming for everyone now <laughs> so a very warm good evening to the august gathering present i on behalf of the shantiniketan family extend my most sincere thanks to the almighty god for making today's event a success i express my sincere gratitude to his highness maharaja gad singh ji sahib of jodhpur and revered vice rajeshri kumari sahib of bikaner whose kind words patronage and continuous blessings 
has enlightened the occasion. I further extend my gratitude to the special guest and my mentor, Mrs. Kiran Bahadur, who spent her valuable time out of a busy schedule to grace the occasion and enlighten the young minds, showing us new paths. Thank you, ma'am. My gratitude to the jury members. Again, my mentor, Mrs. Jyoti Kadzu, ma'am, Dr. Amrita Chaudhary, ma'am, and Mrs. Reshma Lakotia, whose continuous support and wholehearted uh, participation helped us to select the winners among such high quality submission, I must say. And uh, I mean, how can I miss thanking Dr. Abhimanyu Singhara for his precious time and being such a torch bearer to highlight about the legendary scholar, Dr. Professor Ellis Rator. I would also like to thank all participating school principals, teachers, and dear students who participated enthusiastically and whose continuous contribution in the con competition set a very high standard, which speaks volumes about the benchmarks set by the schools. I would also like to thank our chairman, sir, Sri Kailash Modi, sir. Thank you, sir. Dr. Shobha Modi, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for the continuous support. Their minute-to-minute -minute guidance uh, has actually helped us organize the ceremony. I also take the opportunity to thank all the family members, students, and friends of Dr. Professor Ellis Rator, who have actually taken out time for gracing the occasion. Their presence and blessings in the ceremony have added grace to the occasion. Thank you so much, everybody, for being there. Last but not least, my dear teachers and my IT department, whose efforts and cordial coordination helped us to organize the event. Thank you, everyone, for your initial enthusiastic participation and valuable suggestions. We value everyone's efforts in this temple of learning. Although everyone has had such good benchmarks in expressing themselves in the essay writing competition, named Professor Dr. Ellis Rathor Memorial Trophy, but someone has to be declared the winner. That is the protocol. So I take the opportunity to announce the winners. So at the third position, we have Archbishop Sinha, class. As position, we have Yashvi Dada, class 10, St. Anne Senior Secondary School. And at the first position, we have Shreya Singh, again from class 10, St. Anne Senior Secondary School. So, heartiest congratulations to all the winners and applause to all the participants. Thank you everyone for your continuous support. Thank you. For once I would like everybody to please applaud for these three most deserving winners. The hard work has really paid out for them. Thank you, ma'am, and heartily congratulations to all the deserving participants. With the announcements of results, here we come to the end of the ceremony. Thank you, everyone, and on behalf of the whole management and teacher of the, the Shantiniketan School, I wish everybody, all the invited guests, all the special guests, and the parents, teachers of all the reputed schools who gave their valuable time to us on this platform, a very good thing and good thing.